Shocking mortgage reaction. Now, if I want to shock someone, I use a 400 volt car battery. Yeah, if you wear it into the door handle and connect to the end to earth, like um, a water pipe, a lightning conductor, well, we usually, um, used, they used to earth houses with the, with the water pipe because it goes into the ground and it's copper. Well, there isn't a, a lightning conductor in a two story building, but you can do the same thing with a water pipe, yeah. And then obviously they, they get on the door handle and get 400 volts straight through them, which is above uh, uh, start the voltage of a house, which is 240. Now, they get uh, 400 volts direct current, which is twice the power of uh, alternating current, which you get through a, a plug socket, yeah. 400 volts is roughly sub substation voltage. And obviously they have circuit breakers in substations, yeah. But there's such a high voltage that um, if you separate them, they're like, um, well, they're not a little, a little switch like that. They're about six foot tall and tubular. And obviously they separate rapidly, but there's still, if you, if you, um, open a, uh, a gap in, a, in an electrical conductor, it just acts across it. The, the, the electricity jumps the gap like uh, lightning. And how do you put it, put it out? Well, you have a, 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 a CO2 or carbon dioxide arc extinguishment on them. Because obviously, I mean, you can weld with 12 volts and a few few amps, but the substation is 415 volts and, well, Drax is what... Um, Four gigawatts, I'm not at, well, the voltage, it'll be 286,000, so you divide four gigawatts, no, six gigawatts by 286,000, so that's, um, what's giga? Um, kilo is, six kilowatts will be 6,000 volts, six megawatts will be six million volts, so six gigawatts, um, uh, no, no, but watts are actually, it will be six, six million million watts, so, uh, well, at 400 and, well, it's, um, th divided by 286, it's quite a few amps, isn't it, yeah. Yeah, and it only takes a few milliamps from one side of your heart to the other to kill you, so, well, obviously, if you wire yourself into drags, you're fucking mad, because it won't kill you, you'll just, it'll vaporise you, but, well, an electric car battery won't be far off, it won't vaporise you, but, yeah, it'll be slightly dead and probably smoking as well. 400 volts, um... Well, uh, a car battery that starts it on, a, on a, a petrol car for an instant, well, to start the engine on a cold morning supplies 300 amps. It won't do it for long. I mean, most car batteries, well, my car battery, it's only small one for one litre. It's um, 400 amp uh, 40 ampere hours it'll supply an amp for 40 hours or 40 amps for an hour. 300 amps, um, about five or ten minutes at least, and then it'll be flat. That's why, the, that's why if a car battery is on its way out, it usually goes on a cold morning because they the engines are very difficult to turn because the oil's thick because of the temperature. And obviously it's inside, all over inside the engine, so the, the viscosity is more because the, the oil's thicker and yeah, it takes an awful lot to turn that lot. But obviously, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, a, a 12 volt car battery for starting the engine will give you 300 amps. So what will a, are there what, um, for, what was it, what did I say, 40 ampere hours? Well. Most uh, a small electric car battery, which I is, have, is um, what is it, twelve kilowatt hours? So divide by four hundred, um, sixty amps for um, twelve hours. So well, possibly what if if a four? Well, I can't can't quite do that. I mean, it's it's going to supply slightly more than three hundred amp three hundred amps for. Oh, quite a few hours, so it's get quite capable of killing quite a few people. Yeah, if you don't want them in your house, just put a sign on, you know, in excess of 240 volts, throw this down and only touch it if you're stupid or suicidal. If they can't read, it's their own fault, it shouldn't be in my back garden, the trespassing anyway. If the gate's closed, it shouldn't be in. Bollocks to them, I've had enough. Stuff them.